Welcome back to Josiah Plays Dungeons and Dragons Daggerdale. It's kind of fun to say the whole name, just uh, throw Dungeons and Dragons in there. We're in a new area. Uh, we've uh, got a new merchant here to talk to. This one's not called Dwarven Merchant, he's just called Merchant Armor, in parentheses. Alright, what's he got? What do you got? Elven Light Shield of Sabra, Shocking Light Shield of the Alayor, which I don't even know what those are, what that is. Long blow of devastation, all kinds of good sounding stuff, but armor, 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 dwarven helm of the, uh, is it almost time to upgrade that helm? Here's a stone cut helm. I do like my helm being cut out of stone. Oh boy, oh my goodness, great, look at this armor. I don't even know how to use scale mail, but I might be able to get a, uh, a feat to use scale. Uh, well, that's considerably um, more uh, powerful looking than what I'm using. Uh, we got all kinds of necklaces. Uh, wow. Ring of Devastation plus two. Spellstruck ring. Look at this stuff. They really, uh, look at the prices are getting up there now into some uh, rather impressive <laughs> levels as well. Necklace of Adaptation. Alright. I've seen enough of your wares for now, sir. I have a feeling I'll be running around on this map for a good long time. So I'll have plenty of opportunities to visit your shop. What do we have over here? The Dwarven Cleric. What do you have to say for nothing? Nothing. I can't even get a who keeps breaking my barrels for old time's sake, huh? Deathly level Leather Helm plus one. I don't like it. All right. Here is a gate I can open. Is that what I want to do, or do I want to go the other way? It looks like I want to go the other way currently, which is this. Not this way, but you know what? Where there are barrels, there is me. Barrels everywhere. It's like Barreltopia. All right. Took a check in that damn map. Let's go. Looks like I'm going out into the more wild uh, caves out here. Not as settled by the dwarves as the areas I've been in. Which means presumably there will be even more goblins and undead. We had a, a little glimpse of a new creature though at the end of that last section. Uh, some fair locks they were called. Some sort of lizard man looking guys. They kind of looked a lot like troglodytes to me uh, from D&D. &D. Maybe Fairlax are a type of troglodytes. Maybe they changed the name due to some kind of legal issue. Or maybe they're a totally different type of creature. Or maybe they're just something I am unfamiliar with. I don't know. What? Uh, uh, really? Goblins, huh? Wow. What do we have back here? Hexer. gonna run over here, I'm gonna do this. Kill him. Heal myself. Run back, charge this up. Put some pain on these guys. Just start bashing. Oh, lots of good stuff there. Healing word. All right, into the depths. Hey. Uh, really, Garbo Silver Tongue. I bet you never saw this coming, old man. Mm -hmm. All those years, filling my head with dreams of dwarven rule, returning to Tethyamar. Hey. What's the point? Resilus will rule this mine. I knew he was a traitor. Damn Garbo Silvertongue. I wonder if he framed Master Paxton. He did! Planting the dryad dust in my satchel wasn't enough, you crazy fool. Oh no! Mm. I will not let this injustice stand. You had to deliver me to the goblins? Mm. Ha! You might as well know we plan to poison the rest of the water supply too. Mm. What a sinister fuck. 
I'm no longer a slave to you or any of those other fools in the mine. I'm going to run the mine for Resless. Ha ha ha. Mm -hmm. Twirl mustache. Best of all, they think you did it. Whoa. You're insane. Alright, well that was some pretty exciting dialogue there, wasn't it? Alright, let's see if, what kind of devastation I can wreak upon these guys. Oh, there's a shaman there, huh? Trying to kind of get out from the middle here so that I can do that. It's probably another shaman or something, isn't there? What's, what do we have back here? Yeah, there. Oh, two <laughs> more shamans. Okay. Need to kill these guys. Alright, level up. That's good. Okay, I think all the shamans are dead. I've leveled up. I feel stronger. You guys are tough bastards, though. Huh, alright. Free Maxter passed in it. Uh, free Maxter. Maxter. Okay. Learn to speak English is my quest. After that, I can get to freeing Master Paxton. But <laughs> you know what I need to free first. The contents of these barrels. Alright, so what we have here is uh, Garbo Silvertongue, as I predicted, not on the up and up. He's a traitor, working with Resless all along, behind all the problems, and then he even framed poor Master Paxton, our faithful leader. Uh, so, good news is, Master Paxton is in fact a good guy. He gets to be returned to his place of, uh, of honor and integrity. Uh, bad news is, Garbo Silvertongue Silver still, uh, still on the, uh, on the loose. Still at large, so to speak. But I will hunt him down, and I will make him pay for this injustice. Let's free this guy. You've no idea the magnitude of what you've done. Mm -hmm. I am forever in your debt, haven't I heard that before? Hey. I must return to Ayer and warn him about Garbo. Mm -hmm. I just hope my old friend believes me. Oh, he'll believe you. Just uh, let me write you a note here. Dudes telling the truth. Signed, Adamus. Okay, I leveled up. So let's take a look at that. I don't get uh, ability scores or feats this level. I do get power points. So now I have two choices. I can go into Consecrated Ground or Bolts of Warding, which is another melee weapon attack. I really like that. Weapon crackles with divine lightning that arcs out to strike any who threaten your allies. Bunch of damage. Enemies suffer for lightning. Yeah, I like that. So I'm going to take it. I'm going to put two right into it out the gate. But what I need to do now, it's bound to my 2 key, which, I, is so, which is no good. So it's time to uh, do a little rebinding. Also, to check my inventory, see if I got anything new and awesome. Uh, that's pretty nice, but yeah, it's not as nice as the dwarven, <laughs> dwarven bow, so to speak. Uh, Deathly Leather Helm, Cloth, right. Some amulets here. All right. So I need to uh, assign some stuff to some keys here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put Shield of the Gods. I'm going to assign that to my core right mouse click button. Right mouse click button? Yeah. Then I'm going to put Bolts of Warding here on left click. Then I'm going to put 
Uh, what? How do I want to do this? I don't know. Uh, I want to put um, my daunting light. I'm assign that to uh, shift, right click, and uh, basic ranged attack to uh, no. Melee weapon attack. God, I don't know uh, how to how to really set this up. This is this is real bad with key binding. There's no good way to uh, there's no good way to do this, honestly. So I guess melee weapon attack assigned to shift right click and daunting light assigned to shift left click. And basic ranged attack will assign that to the three key. So what I have here is when I right click I get that, when I left click I do that attack, when I right shift right it's just my normal attack, when I shift left I do that. We'll play with that for right now. Seems to be working okay. I'm gonna need to get used to the new bindings, and I'm not 100% sure I'm thrilled about them, but we'll give that a shot. So I need to destroy the Goblin's Dryad dust, dust Supply. I've done none of that so far. Zero of six. Apparently it's all down there to the south. So I'm gonna take this southern passage and get to destroying some uh, Dryad Dust Supply. Huh, this seems to be Oh, what's going on here? Uh-oh! Are they going to push that big boulder and... Uh-oh, uh we got an Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom moment here. Run! Ah, alright. I guess that was fairly easily avoidable. Your boulder will not crush me, curs. Come on and die! Where are they? Goblin Sharpshooter. Let's charge this secondary power up and see... Oh, terrible. He just moved out of the way. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, this is going to take some getting used to what I've done here with my... with my key bindings. Oh, that new power hits hard, though. Alright, so, didn't do particularly well there, but, um, kind of messing around. This is mostly why I avoided having, uh, extra powers all this time, because, honestly, it's, um, it's a bit of a pain when, when you only have, uh, you know, right click, left click, and the shift to modify it, and no on-the-fly switching or anything. I mean, I can use the one through three keys, but that's like a whole, I don't know, that's like a whole different deal from what, you know, what I've been doing using the mouse uh, for all my attacks and stuff, so. All right, I'm going to grab this uh, dryad barrel here, or blow it up, rather. Um... Yeah. Need to um, need to probably revisit what I did there with the bindings. It's not uh, not 100% happy with it. So yeah, it's about all the time we have for this video. I'm gonna step back here into the hallway for a minute uh, and uh, end this one here. Thank you for watching. Josiah plays Dungeons & Dragons Daggerdale. We'll see you next time.